Hi everybody, today we are lucky to have Debra here to talk about her journey as a professional musician and as a champion of the SEMC 2020 Grand Category. The SEMC stands for the Singapore Chinese Music Competition and is a nationwide competition with the Grand Category as the highest tier. Now let's have a look at her performance in the competition. Oh, before I forget, this interview is brought to you by Eight Tones Music School and Music Store. We are a one-stop traditional Chinese musical instrument shop that conducts Chinese instrumental lessons along with instrument sales in our physical store and on our website as well. We ship our instruments internationally so you can purchase our instruments in any part of the world. Do check out our website in the video description and you may find something that you like. So Debra, can you tell me about your preparation for the competition? Okay, well, uh, last year's competition was a bit different from previous years because it was held during the COVID-19 pandemic and um, my lessons with my teacher actually were disrupted for two, three months and during that time I found it quite hard to have the motivation to practice and it was only after that restrictions were lifted that I actually started practicing quite seriously and um, very intentionally. I would say I practiced uh, many months ahead of the competition, uh, every day about three to four hours. So do you have any tips for people who wants to uh, perform or to compete? Uh, I would say for people who want to compete, definitely practice. Practice a lot. Practice early as well. Uh, don't leave your practice to the last minute. It's not good. Um, secondly, is also to expose yourself to as many performance opportunities as you can because that will really help with your uh, nervousness on stage. Um, also, finally, you can also get as much feedback as you can from your teachers, people around you, and be very willing to listen and learn from others. So how do you start learning the Erhu? I actually started when I was nine uh, in primary school when we had to select our CCAs and I joined my school's Chinese orchestra, so uh, I started learning from there and I was fortunate to be able to learn under Mr. Zhang Yuming, Zhang Yuming Laoshi, and currently I'm learning from under uh, Li, La Li Baoshen Laoshi. What inspired you to be a professional musician? Do you uh, want to be a professional musician when you were younger? Uh, back when I was first starting out, I didn't have this intention of course i mean i purely picked up the instrument based of based out of interest and also because practi practically we have to choose a cca in school la. so yeah. uh, eventually i got better at the instrument i gained more experience and i uh, ended up really liking the sound that it was able to produce with more practice and experience so um, after that i went on to uh, join more orchestras around the community and I met new people, new friends and seniors who inspired me to um, go through this uh, this route which is to become a professional musician. Yes, the uh, who sounds really like a human voice and yeah. it's really like this heart-wrenching sound, right? Yeah. yeah. Talking about the uh, who sound, right? Mm. What was the choice of uh, who for the competition? Uh, well, for the competition, I was playing some uh, very technically challenging pieces and those pieces had like both slow and fast parts so I wanted an instrument that was versatile enough to be able to be rich for the slow parts and be super clean for the fast parts and uh, I actually chanced upon this instrument uh, while at the <laughs> shop when I was trying out your uh, Cao Rong uh, Hu yeah, also bought it. yeah so it's the Cao Rong uh, aged rosewood uh, Hu uh, because the moment I tried your Ahu, I found it was really 
um, easy to produce, a very nice, rich tone color, and was very easy to control as well. So eventually, I uh, purchased one for myself and used it for the competition. Yeah, so you actually brought the Erhu here today, right? Mm -hmm. So you all will enjoy a short performance by Deborah. So that's all for today, remember to like and subscribe.